What is going on guys? So today I got another super quick video and it is how to toggle the dynamic crosshair on or off in CS2. So as you can see, I have it on right now. And what it does is it shows me the bullet spread. So it shows me the random area in which my bullet can go. And that is the penalty for running and trying to shoot in this game. So it doesn't like you running and shooting in this game. So it'll make your bullet go wherever the hell it feels like going in this huge area. But if you stop, you can see the area gets a lot tighter and it also reflects recoil too so you can see the area gets bigger but recoil is a fixed pattern in this game so i wouldn't pay too much attention to that it's more of for running that's actually pretty accurate so if you want it on or if you want it off it's pretty simple press escape go to settings on the top left here um yeah go to the game tab go to crosshair and then it's right here, crosshair style. So you can either go classic or classic static. So classic static, if you you know enable it, I just don't have to click save or anything. You can just go back and I just have the dot now. There's no more, um, you know, spread area that it's showing me. All I see is just the dot. So now I have to know when I'm running, when I'm not, have better feel for the game, but you know, I like it more this way. I think that animation gets a little distracting in my opinion, but personal preference, you know, so if you want it back on, let's go back here, um, go to settings, and then you're going to want to put it on classic. So classic is the one that uh, shows you the dynamic crosshair, and you're probably wondering what legacy is. So let's take a look together at what legacy is. So if I put it on legacy, basically just shows you the recoil. It doesn't show you the movement penalty. Which again, recoil in this game is, it's like a, there's recoil patterns. So like you don't really need that. Like it's gonna go, the bullet's gonna go in the same spot every time, like unless if you're moving. So yeah, as long as you learn the spray pattern on your gun, I think that's also kind of useless. But again, personal preference. So that is how you change from static to dynamic crosshair or vice versa in CS2. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.